So what I'm going to do in Venter here is I'm actually going to go to Place from Vault. And just being limited to the files now is no longer the case where I can actually go in here and I can actually search for items. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a search here for um, cap or head or head cap or what I'm looking for here, maybe arbor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that particular item. Now I actually have two choices here. I can either place this in as a um, virtual component or actually place it. Now what I'm going to do is place it in as a virtual component. So what it's going to do is basically take those item properties and take that and actually place that into this assembly as a virtual component. So now if I go take a look at my bill of materials, what I'm going to see is that that's been attached for me as a virtual component with all the properties from the item. So let's just get rid of that thumbnail there just so we can see everything here in one view. So let's get rid of that. So we can see that virtual component has been added um, to my assembly at the bottom there. So let's go back again. Let's place that um, same component. Let's place a different component here. And again, I'm going to place item. I'm going to search for it. In this case, what I'm going to do is actually place in the link. So in this case, there is a primary attachment. So when I take this item and actually place it, what's going to happen is actually going to place the primary file, which in this case is a component, and it's going to allow me to place that into my assembly. Now a couple things here. Number one is that if there is no primary attachment, it is going to default to virtual component. And if there is um, a primary component, it's going to default to um, placing the link. So great new functionality, um, kind of bringing a little bit of items um, into Inventor uh, because previously, you know, the whole change state and lifecycle stuff was limited to files. So now we've got a little bit of touch of items. So it really, really expands. Um, how easy it is to start working with your item data within your um, inventor models.